All right. We live, baby. Shout out to Nick and Dan. All right. So, <laughs> all right, y'all. So, I am here. Um, uh oh. So, I am here with a um, just a quick video to show you all that you can do a detox on a budget. Okay. I know it's rough out here. Um, organic food is so expensive, but. Um, you can do this. Um, I did. I'm just recording this on the fly because if my friends know, and I'm letting y'all know, I roll with Sarak the MC hard. Okay, she's dope. She's a dope lyricist, artist, person. Um, I've only met her a couple times, you know, but I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> so anyway, let me stop fangirling. So Sarak the MC. Um, she's from DC. Um, she's a you know, in a hip hop artist. Okay, she's an MC. She's dope. Um, on her Facebook page, she posted a video last week of um, she wanted to start a detox that starts this coming Monday. I believe that's the 11th. So in this detox, um, it's called the Wild Rose herbal detox okay um garden of life is the name of the brand so it's garden of life wild rose herbal detox um now that actually the herbal detox is actually the um brand name i'm looking at the name over here on my screen um so that is actually the name of the product and the product ranges from about 24 to $34 depending on where you get it it's cheaper online but at this point I don't think anybody's trying to order that fast so um, I wrote some notes from her video but I will link her Facebook page below and the detox video is there um, it's about a um, I want to say about six minute video and she just goes over what you can mostly what you can't have on the detox um, and gives more information just so I didn't buy the um, Garden of Life kit I decided just to get the things that she suggested so she said that if you could not get the kit then she suggests a dandelion tea um, not to have coffee even though you can um, according to the booklet um, to use a yerba mate instead and then also either red clover or burdock for your blood parsley for your urinary tract um, and then triphala which is a uh, dried fruit laxative so it is not a stimulant laxative it's much like eating prunes or something like that you know um, but it is also it's in a pill form so if you don't like prunes you can use this um, the snacks she suggested a, quite a few snacks um, unsalted nuts rice cakes popcorn um, seaweed snacks um, and then she had some staples as like black bean pasta brown rice black rice or red rice and I'm gonna show you all what I got um, now I'm gonna show you the most expensive grocery haul that I had was from uh, mom's market which is just an organic market out here on the east coast um, I'm sure it's not only on the east coast I don't know where else they have stores but anyway um, I didn't want to go all the way to Whole Foods this one was closer so I just went there um, and I got quite a few things so well I can't have this on the detox <laughs> okay <laughs> but I'm going to show y'all what I got so this is my bag it's all raggedy um, so I spent about $35. I know y'all probably can't see that because my phone's acting stupid. Um, okay, so I got these are organic Frosted Flakes, y'all. I was so hyped. Um, I can't have these on the detox, so today and tomorrow I'm going to be smashing these, okay? I'm like, oh my gosh, I miss Frosted Flakes. And yeah, I found these. I was hyped, so... <laughs> and they're made with no high fructose corn syrup this is just for future reference you know it's too late now um organic cornmeal organic cane sugar sea salt okay so and they're vegan so i'm so excited um and uh -oh. 
Oh, this is the one that broke, but they rebagged it. So, I got some Azuki beans. Cost me 52 cents. Um, again, well, maybe I didn't say um, I'm only cooking for one. It's just me. Um, potentially, maybe my guy friend will come over and maybe have a meal. But for the most part, it's just me. So, Azuki beans. Um, which, if you don't know what they look like, since my bag bust. They are just dried, they're just a dried red bean, okay? Um, they're supposed to be really good as far as fiber for you. Um, and if you ever watched, there's like this British show, I can't remember. You are what you eat, she would always make them eat those. So I was like, I'm going to get some. Um, Alright, so I got red rice, that was 77 cents for a good amount. This is heavy. Um, I got French lentils. These cost me two sixty six for point oh three pounds. Okay, um, this is so heavy. But you can make lentil burgers with lentils. You can do you know lentils and rice. Um, you can mash them up. You know and make like I don't know some kind of you know balls or something. Something like you know lentil balls or something. Um, I got black rice that was 41 cents um, I got small amounts of these things because I wasn't sure if I would really like them so definitely if I like them I'll go get more um, and then I got a huge bag of the popcorn this is organic multi-colored popcorn this cost me about 50 so I filled it till the power like right there it's yeah so that'll last me for a minute um and then I just got some organic plantain. Um, I had a piece of fruit in here. I already ate it. So that was on there too. So um, it was a persimmon. And so for my detox, instead of buying the kit for my liver detox, I'm going to be using the dandelion spice tea. Roasted dandelion. And then also... Um, skin detox this is the yogi skin detox tea however it has the red clover and burdock root that she suggested so that's in there um, those were I think $3.99 a piece you can usually find them cheaper other places um, and then I got organic India brand Trifola and it is a colon cleanse so this is the um, laxative that she was talking about so, two capsules twice a day with water in the a.m. and p.m. before and after meals. Vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free capsules. Um, and then, this one has 90 capsules. So, for 15, uh, this was, yeah, it was $15.99. So, for $15.99, that was actually pretty good. There it is. So, those are the three fruits that are there in every capsule. So, that was great. The other capsules... Um, make sure you check the ingredients because there was another like filler ingredient in one of the capsules um, yeah there was a filler ingredient and I was like this has just a very small amount of the actual fruits um, so I didn't get those um, I then took a trip to what did I get from Dollar Tree so I went to Dollar Tree um, the only thing I got from Dollar Tree let me stack these up I got a huge, 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 huge bottle <laughs> of spring water. So, hold on. So, I got a huge bottle of spring water from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to probably get two more of these and alkalinize it. So, make my own alkaline water and be good to go um i have a lot of staples i pulled everything out so it's a bit of a mess right now but i have a lot of staples so i have my nutritional yeast you know i have my vegetable broth i have some wheat gluten i have my tvp since this is gluten free you can use tvp um there's different brands that's bob's red mill um at dollar tree they had these tomatoes um i, got, I have about seven cans of these just because you can make so much from these and they're organic so it was perfect um they have fire roasted diced and then petite diced um 
So this is pretty dope because you can use these for sloppy joes, you know, vegan sloppy joes, or, you know, make spaghetti sauce, um, whatever. Um, I then went to Aldi. Now, Aldi is my favorite store. <laughs> Let me turn the camera around. So Aldi is my absolute favorite grocery store. They have so many options for everybody. So first thing I got, um, what did I get? What did I get? Okay, so I got a gluten-free pancake mix. So this is the um, Live G Free. This is their gluten-free brand. So they had pancake mix. The only thing that you have to add to this is the baking mix, milk, vegetable egg, and then vegetable oil, and then an egg. So I got that. The only sauce that I can use, I got a couple others that I can't have during the detox. Um, one has soy, and then the other one has a lot of sugar and a lot of fillers. So um, this is the enchilada sauce. This was a dollar. And the ingredients are very, very simple. So, you know, very simple ingredients. Um, also from Aldi, I was able to find organic coconut oil to cook with. Um, I got pink salmon. Um, Sarak is vegan, but um, I got salmon. And then I also got um, skipjack like tuna. That is sustainably caught. This was 99 cents. Um, and the salmon is also wild caught. Oh, so it is sustainable. Turn up. Okay, so the salmon is also sustainable from Aldi. That's good to know. Um, what else? Oh, and I also found organic brown rice and quinoa penne. So I can have pasta. Um, you know, has the organic symbol there. It has the so this is a pretty big bag. I think this was less than two bucks. Um, at mom's, they had some like black bean pasta that was $7.99 a box. It was ridiculous, so I was like, no. So we're on a budget, so this is what we doing. So this is what I got. Um, now a couple of other staples that I typically keep in the house just because you're going to use them at some point <laughs> and it's good to have uh, I have I got organic coconut aminos so if you don't like the Bragg's liquid aminos I think those do those have soy I can't remember if those have soy but these do not um, this is pretty much organic coconut sap water and sea salt and let me actually pan so I got the these from Trader Joe's and those are the ingredients all right so pretty basic ingredients um what else oh okay so a couple of other things that i've gotten from aldi that was from trader joe's um nutritional yeast was from trader joe's aldi came through um they have chia seeds so i got these chia seeds there this counter is a mess so I'm not going to flip it around no more. Um, and I also got organic flaxseed. Um, I found these at Big Lots. So Big Lots is very good for a lot of your dried organic goods. Uh, my favorite chips. So my favorite chips are these organic yellow corn tortilla chips. I stopped eating tortilla chips because they're made from corn. And I found these. I had the black bean ones, but it wasn't the same. And these are like two bucks at Aldi. I was so excited. Um, another item from Big Lots I got was the um, coconut flour. Organic coconut flour. Um, and you can use that in place of your grain flour. So in place of your wheat flour, you can use that. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? Um, so a couple of staples I keep in the fridge. Um... It's my flake coconut. Okay, this is Bob's Red Mill. I found this at Big Lots. However, um, I noticed that the price difference wasn't really a huge price difference. So you can just order online and it'll probably be the same. Um, and then my organic almond milk from Aldi. I love that stuff. Um, what else? These are not organic, but 
in terms of snacks this is guacamole spicy guacamole um i'll show you guys the ingredients so it doesn't have anything terrible okay so that's a good alternative if you don't want to make um guacamole you know how it gets brown you can just have your little cup and be done with that and still have the other ones uh, maintain their color um aldi also had it's not organic however if you don't want to buy a whole head of lettuce these were 89 cents here it's just their garden salad so unless you're following dr sabi's plan um and you don't eat carrots um, this is probably perfect because it has carrots, cabbage, and iceberg lettuce. Simple. Um, I also got some. I can't have the pita bread on the detox, so let's give over that. Um, you can have tofu. So I got organic cube tofu. These are usually on sale for like two for three. Um, sometimes they're a dollar on clearance or whatever. Um, I'm just ran into my bag. I'm sorry. Um, so that's everything that i have um and i want to shout out a black business while i'm here so i do not know where i put my tea box i have a box with my tea in it but so um i have ordered a couple of teas from healthy smoke i know that's misleading but healthy smoke has um your smokable teas so you can smoke these teas or just have them as tea so they have various this is their card that comes with their orders um you know it's all thc free or whatever so if you do smoke herbs and you don't want to smoke those herbs anymore you can use these um they're also tobacco free so it's great um and then they have various formulas so this just lists three of their formulas i'm pretty sure that they have six formulas um matter of fact let's just so they have various formulas help like one is good for creativity one is for relaxation um if you're you know an anxious person or restless um one is designed for meditation to calm your mind um and you know and enhance your focus um and then the activate is you know an energizing one that's my favorite <laughs> especially around uh the holiday season and as it gets cold and you want to stay inside it helps me kind of perk up when i really need that so it's a good you know it's tea so you can't really go wrong with that i'm asthmatic so i can't smoke anyway um so i think that's everything that's everything guys so if you guys i i guess if anyone has any questions to inbox me comment i don't know um let me know some of your favorite organic items and where you found them and you know cheap organic items just to help anyone else out um like i said the organic tomatoes those were at dollar tree so check in your dollar tree if you guys have food items in there check it from time to time um aldi is great they have come through <laughs> so many times um with you know your organic frozen vegetables you know your almond milk your vegetable broth just little staples um, i even got organic tortillas from them one time so definitely check aldi um they also have organic produce um it's very limited but they do have it you know they have the onions you know potatoes tomatoes things that a lot of people are going to buy um they typically have organic spinach and kale in your spring mix stuff like that um yeah so check out definitely check out aldi um if you do still eat dairy or cheeses or things like that they do have organic cheese there um i've only seen it a handful of times so definitely it's not always there the cheese but definitely um check for it and I think that's all I got. So I hope this helps someone because I was so nervous about starting a detox. I was like, I can't do it. I can't afford it. But you really can. And really, it's going to help you um, since you can't. I mean, since, you know, it's not as affordable to buy a lot of things. Um, it helps you kind of control your meals, too. So you're like, OK, well, this is enough for one meal. This is enough for this meal. Then I have this snack. So it really helps you 
portion control as well. So good luck to everyone on this winter solstice detox. And I'll see y'all next time.